Good evening, friends. Meeting again in the session of Madra Medica with the same remedy. We have discussed certain aspects of Cilicia in the yesterday's lecture along with few cases of my practice which I have shared with all of you. We have understood the mental aspect, we have understood the constitution, how the Cilicia is by constitutionally, how it is close to the calcarea, the open frontal nails, then the bossing forehead, everything, the scrupulous diathesis, all those things which we have discussed in detail, along with the mental state, the yielding na nature, the anxious personality, the cowardice personality, very, very much faint hearted, mental labor is difficult, reading and writing is fatigue, cannot think. So all those things which are, which about the one aspect of the mind of the Cilicia, that's what we have discussed from Alan Skinner. And today we're going to enter into the causative things, which are the elements and which are responsible to produce the Cilicia states or Cilicia um, silica problems. So first, whenever we read the Alan's, after first few paragraphs, one or two paragraphs, three paragraphs, but in the first two paragraphs, he tried to explain uh, most important thing about it, that um, whole field of action of remedy, where exactly the remedy will going to work, that has been mentioned in first few. Then he explains specifically about the another thing, next two, three, four paragraphs refers to the causes or manner in which patient presents from their suffering. So, first part already we have discussed. Now we'll enter into the next where the causes or elements caused by. That's what he has explained. So, let us open the Allen's keynotes directly and we'll go with that and we'll learn every sentence and every word over there. In, I know that it is not possible to finish this remedy today because I want to highlight certain points over there. So, what he says, which are elements in Cilicia? Elements caused by Suppressed foot sweat, very important thing, like a cuprum, like a graphitis, like a sorinum, many a times like a calcarea also. This suppressed foot sweat leading to certain disorder. This is one of the important remedy. Elements exposing the head or back to any slight draft of air. Two chili remedy from our matramedica. Yesterday we have discussed three important chili remedies. The silica is one of them. Sorainam and Hepar are other two. So this is wherever the draft of air touches the body immediately causes some effects over there. Undue effects, silica one must consider. Third element is caused by bad effects of vaccination. Other than Thuja, one must consider Cilicia as a one of the important remedy for bad effects of vaccination. Antium tart is one more remedy. One should not forget in bad effects of vaccination. And this we have to be utilized. There are many, many, many vaccination effects are there. Nowadays, they are much more after the COVID. And these remedies play very vital role. Thuja, Silicia, Antim Tart. These are the remedies which, which are there in the, which plays very vital role over there. Are you getting my voice or not? I think it is there because... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Clear. Clear. So, elements from bad effects of vaccination, especially the abscesses or convulsions. So, whenever abscesses develops, convulsion develops, because after the suppression of, um, uh, after the bad effects of vaccination, after the vaccination, this is very specifically a silicia. Thuja, many effects. The psychological effect, mental effect, the brain effect, which can happen because of suppressed, because of vaccination over there in Thuja. Elements, specifically chest complaints of stone cutters with a total loss of strength. Stone cutters, it is not miners. Miners are different. And stone cutters, they are they used to utilize the hard um, things, weapons in their hands, and they try to crush the stones. Two things happen over there. The dust which comes out gets inhaled and developed a problem over there. Second important, physical disorders because of the continuous use, a very severe one. That is one of the important things. And these are quite common with the silica. The foreign body which gets involved or inhaled, it, it is a wonderful remedy because sometimes it produces 
uh, fibrosis over there. And this fibrosis can be dissolved with the help of silicium. One of the important remedy in interstitial lung disease, where the lung fibrosis is very common, this remedy plays a very vital role in such types of cases, along with the anti-MARS. Anti-MARS is one of the most important remedy in interstitial lung disease. So when we think, think and correlate, correlate the remedy with the clinical complaints, then you can utilize the remedy properly. I have utilized anti-MARS during the COVID many times and brought the patient out of ventilator. It is a wonderful remedy to be understood. Very small remedy in Boris. But every sentence of that, if you understand from the clinical aspect, then you understand and catch exactly what anti-MARS is. Anti-MARS is very specific for such types of things. The, whenever the pneumonia, which is caused, or pneumonia and influenza, they are correlated, producing emphysema over there, that is anti-MARS. Silicia is a very good complementary over there after the after residual effects of that. Silicia plays a very vital role. So chest complaints of turn cutters with total loss of strength. So these are the elements. Then, then he turns towards the one of the important features, want of vital heat. Always chilly, even when talk, taking active exercise like ladum and sepia. This is the remedy most chilly. That's what I have discussed. Most chilly remedy. But difference is that they always want the heat. Ladum never. Ladum want the cold things. Let them want icy coldness, in fact, in order to get feel better. Here, Silicia, it's too chilly. They want to cover whole body. They can, they even never keeps their hands out of the covering. This is very typical with the Silicia. Too chilly. So, want of, specifically, the want of heat, vital heat, and always chilly. This is the, the theme which you can observe in Silicia more commonly. Now, next feature indicates the scrofulous diathesis. Any inflammatory condition where there is a glandular affection is there and glands everywhere inside the body, when they get affected, this is a wonderful remedy to make it drain completely. So see what he says, inflammation, swelling and suppuration of the glands. There is inflammation followed by swelling, followed by suppuration of the glands, cervical, so cervical, then axillary, then the parotid, then the mammary, inguinal, sebaceous, malignant, and gangrenous. See, the lymphadenopathy leading towards the suppuration, a bubo stage. Generally, when it is syphilis, it is bubo. First formation inside the lymph nodes. Septic focus inside the lymph nodes is view. Silicia is a wonderful remedy to be thinking of. So see the miasm, miasmatic focus, gangrenous inflammation of the lymph nodes that has been mentioned over there. So miasm is very specifically from psychotic to syphilitic. Lymph node enlargement itself is the first psychotic entity turning towards the syphilitic. So, psychotuberculosyphilitic syphilitic is in background whenever we think about the syphilis, when we think about the silicia. So, when you look towards the patient and the patient is coming to you with inguinal lymphadenopathy, if you observe that lymph node which is swollen, which shows the pus and it is painful and it is draining somewhere, then think of silicia first. It is very important remedy. One should not forget the scrofulous diathesis with over there. So if we go with the inflammatory stage, the last stage of inflammation comes under the silica. These are last stages where the inflammation starts. Resolutely, resolution starts. And to drain that, it is very important remedy because the lymphatic channels with which the necrosed material debris transmits, that, that should be done in a perfect manner. Silica plays a very vital role over there. Has a wonderful control over the suppurative processes. And this is what we have learned yesterday with the cases. Wonderful control over the suppurative processes. Soft tissue, periosteum, or bone, maturing abscesses when desired or reducing excessive separation. So, soft tissue inflammation and abscess. 
bony tissue inflammation and abscess periosteal abscesses osteomyelitis this remedy has capacity to reach to that level this remedy is a wonderful remedy which has that capacity to either open an abscess or to stop that abscess when you find it out that it it can mature then you can give silicia in low and repeat it it matures the abscess if you find it out that this is not the state it can be stopped at that level if you observe towards it then you give silicia high and it stops so it is very important remedy yes in sebaceous cyst definitely it plays very vital role definitely affecting chiefly the soft tissues calendula and apa my suggestion to all of you be practical calendula locally in soft tissue inflammation or infection along with silicia in biochemics and hepar in homeopathic just few doses of hepar followed by silicia 66 in biochemic and calendula locally it is wonderful to remedy these are wonderful remedies in order to open the abscesses and easily drain that i used to do that many a times i used to give three doses of silicia hepar self 6 followed by silicia 66 continuously and locally the calendula calendula has a capacity to bring that pus in a to the pointed area and it opens up and it drains when you apply it locally calendula it drains whatever may be the pus collection just now i have treated a very big big this much of abscess was there peri anal abscess operated twice and third time it has developed and it was recurrent and they said that we have to go for same thing but i i what i told i will definitely cure you and then i have started with the his, his remedy his remedy was acid nitric i have given him acid nitric followed by silicia and local calendula it took 6 months to heal but it healed completely from every area and gradually it reached to a point and then it healed and this is the way it should heal then it there will be no more recurrence so these are the things which we have to apply practically so how to use them in cycle so yeah, hepar self 6 three doses followed by silicia 66 and silicia you have to continue repeat that is what we have to do and calendula locally calendula mother tincture i used to use i never used the ointments over there i used to use the calendula mother tincture and calendula mother tincture not diluted as it is then it works children are obstinate head strong cry when spoken kindly to this this thing which one has to understand children are obstinate obstinacy is very clear with the silicas whether it is adult or children they are always obstinate they are very firm with their own things now the one more one more word which you can use haughty is very specific for it haughty is the word which defines that they are firm with their decision they are firm with their thoughts and they never easily changes their thoughts that is what is haughtiness is there that haughty is more particular with the silica head strong head strong is nothing but the same that that is what they explain head strong means they are whatever they used to say they used to follow they never changes their things thoughts very easily cry when spoken kindly to this this is emotional aspect of silica it is close to the lycopodium we used to consider the pulsatile is more um, emotional than the lycopodium i would say that lycopodium is more emotional than the pulsatile because because lycopodium if you would see the old um, repertory uh, weeping thank when only lyco was mentioned by kent there was no pulsatile added over there pulsatile is added later by this new repertory but lyco is more emotional even someone say thanks and lyco gets the immediately the uh, lacrimation watering inside the eye whenever he gets angry he gets um, immediately every moment whenever he sees something on television and he gets um, immediately lyco is like that and lyco contains more part of silica silica is that's why close to it silica is emotional so someone kindly spoken and immediately they starts weeping crying what type 
what type of vertigo see vertigo is very important because the vertigo the modalities and presentation varies and accordingly remedy works you should not get fixed with one remedy many times we used to we observe that we used to use fixed remedies for vertigo someone utilizes brine again and again no it should not be so it it should depend upon very specifically what patient presents so vertigo see what he says vertigo is spinal what is spinal here the irritation is from cervical spine it starts right from there cervical spine is the most common entity where the headache of the cilicia also starts it is the cranial nerve involvement is also there with the cilicia so vertigo spinal ascending from back of the neck to the head it starts over here then it comes up then it settles over there and patient has the problem of vertigo it converts into headache typical migraine headache and then it settles one of the eye specifically more on the right as if one would fall forward vertigo as if one would fall forward this is too important patient talks in this sense if you ask them clearly if you ask them what exactly how, how is the vertigo and what do you feel he says that doctor i i, I feel that i will go fall forward i will fall backward i will fall sideways every patient defines it in a different manner and that's why it is too important to understand the things clearly we should not make fixed vertigo and this remedy kona is the remedy it's not like that you must understand the modality as if one would fall forward from looking up vertigo from looking up looking up and vertigo is there pulsatilla is one of the close remedy yes pulsatilla is mentioned looking down is calmia looking down is pygelia looking down is sulfur bending forward is sulfur so you every remedy has its specific modality and that we have to understand over here so very specifically it has been mentioned and this vertigo underline that vertigo keep it in your mind what type very specifically it is spinal it starts over here and then it settles over the head then headache starts a typical migraine presentation which you get in siliga and this migraine has a very specific modality there was one patient with me i will share that case because it was interesting it was early in my practice in 1995 uh that lady came to me with migraine and she is typically um, lot of things she has shown with spigelia and every time i used to prescribe some remedies it used it used to stop but it has not completely cured nearly about one year have been passed she was happy that she has been con- she has been under control with homeopathy not she never have to use the allopathic medicine but it was the recurrence was there one day she came asked me doctor if you don't laugh shall i ask anything i said why should i laugh no whatever i will going to say you will feel that i am absolutely a superstitious woman no it's not matter if you will tell me something i will i will see what what exactly you feel what exactly you want. and this, then she told actually my headache always happens to be there during no new moon and full moon see after one year i got the real modality which was there in that lady because because people consider this is superficial superstitious thought she told me that every new moon every full moon i used to get a severe attack and then she explained exactly the headache migraine headache and then i i have given her silica and after silica fantastically she recovered fantastically there was a question by sharuk that what is the reason behind new moon aggravation sir there is a lot of philosophy which we have to discuss regarding it but thing is that that uh, the gravitational force of moon plays a very vital role in those who are susceptible migraine is the problem which arises in the brain the csf is there 
moon phases always produces its effects on sea water where the water is salty they produces and that's why there is always have sea levels al always alters because of the full moon and new moon energy gravitational force that's why it works in the csf the salty csf and this then those who are susceptible enough generally suffers from it and many migraine patients always explains uh, that there is a aggravation either during new moon or full moon and if they are not told ask them yes why it is so if you take history go to the gynecobstetric hospitals just take how when the delivery cases labor cases happens and you will see 70 to 75% delivery cases happens during moon phases either during the full moon or during new moon because the amniotic fluid which is there around the mean fund it is full of salty fluid and that's why the effects of moon phases happens over there and that's why it, the old people used to um, measure or calculate the date of delivery on the moon phases only we have changed it with the dates but they used to consider on the basis of new moon and full moon only and that was right one they were knowing the effects of the effects of of it on it on this specific thing so planets also have a very specific dynamic effects on the on your body migraine is very important disorder which has very close relation with the moon phase silica is one important remedy another remedy you should not forget is the calcarea everyone knows but this silica is most prominent over there then he has explained the headache and today we'll discuss the headache and we'll stop because this headache is very important chronic sick headache underline this sentence chronic sick headache it is not just acute yesterday headache started it is not acute it's chronic since long many years the person is suffering from headache it is that's why diagnosis is more commonly the migraine since some severe disease of youth how many times since some some severe disease of youth like sorena how is the headache ascending from the nape of neck to the vertex as if like a vertex it starts over here then comes and then it settles first over the vertex as if coming from the spine and locating in one eye see what is it it comes from spine then comes a support then comes vertex then settles either of the one eye especially the right but it doesn't mean that it is always right it can be on left side even in silly shells so what happens generally we used to think of spinalia very commonly left side but yes spinalia in acute state that is the best remedy but if it is recurrent chronic again and again showing the similar phases silica is one of the important remedy don't consider it is only on right side it is a wonderful remedy in such types of headache so he has mentioned left spinalia it is specific spinalia is left sided very specific silica is not specifically right right or left right is more than left this is the thing which you can say in case of silica so silica is a very specific remedy for migraine headache right over there chronic sick migraine headache modality headache aggravated by draft of air and these people whenever travels in a car anywhere they gets draft of air their windows are open and immediately they starts getting the headache brainia people they always gets the headache like that traveling causes the headache in brain this is very 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 important specifically in silica or uncovering the head draft of air or uncovering the head that's why they cover the whole head they keeps it open next day they suffers from it ameliorated from pressure and wrapping up warmly like bryonia so ameliorated by pressure they keeps hard pressure or there are some people i used to see that they ties it up very very tight ameliorated by pressure and wrapping up warmly 
like magmur, like Strunchenka, like bryonia. These are the remedies which which having which are having the similar type of modality. So this this is this is the headache which one must not forget with this specific modality. And last modality, ameliorated after profuse urination. See, this is a modality which is very close to one remedy. Anyone knows? Headache better, better by profuse urination. Gelsemium. Yes, everyone knows that gelsemium. But we know only gelsemium. That is the thing. We we forget about the silica. Silica also is having the similar modality, better by profuse urination. So, a typical chronic sick headache, migraine headache, which is very specific of silica, one should not forget and one should think about in using this remedy. So, I think we'll stop over here. These are the things which we have discussed today and go through it again and again. When you read the sentences again, then you'll understand and you will recorrect in your practice. Are this patient was saying the same thing. When This is the use of reading it again and again. When you start reading them again and again, then you recognize are, that this is the sentence which was used by that patient. This thing is very important thing. And that's why Allen's keynote, Boris Mater and Medica, they are backbone of your practice. Learn them by heart and understand them very clearly. You can learn a lot from it. So I think we'll stop over here. Tomorrow we'll continue with the session with the next part of the solution. Tomorrow we'll finish this remedy. So it will be there will be three sessions of silicia, but it is that much important remedy in our chronic omega cases. So we'll learn them by heart. Uh, on doubt, sir. Yeah. Any any doubt. What is meant by suppression of food uh, sweat? To how to suppress and uh, what is this thing? Suppression of food sweat means there are there are many people who tries to utilize different different things. First important thing, many people use the um, uh, many powders in their um, what uh, socks or in their chappals or in their shoes in order to prevent the foot um, or uh, foot perspiration. There are many deodorants are there and which blocks the holes over there. And that's why the sweating gets stopped. Such things are very, very um, creating problems whenever you stop the um, holes which are discharging the toxins from the body. It always produces a problem. Many people comes to you, they used to use these deodorants and they because of which they are suffering. They, they feel they are very looking good and everything, but they develops very difficult internal disorders because of that. And it is the product which creates a problem. So this um, this is the same thing which happens when foot sweat is suppressed. Or many times, many people, they, if there is a sweating, they keep the um, feet outside and keeps directly a fan over there and try to dry them. That is also called as little bit separation caused because of it. Okay. Then Dr. Tanzila, she has asked about Telegram channel. Telegram channel is not there. Telegram group is there and that is only for those who have paid the life membership of our school 500 rupees for once for all. Those are added in the Telegram group, the Divine School of Homeopathy. We used to add, and if you want to be a member, you have to pay it to my number, my mobile number, that is 989016872. And you have to send your name and everything. We'll, we used to add over there in our group. It is 989016872. That's my mobile number where you can send the 500 rupees and your name and all details. Can we use Silicia 6x for abscesses at injection site? Yes, definitely. Definitely. If you want to open it, Silicia 6x is very important remedy. 
Sir, can we use this in hyperhidrosis? Yes, definitely. It is very important remedy, in fact, for that. In, in many times, patient, patient talks in a very simple language. What they, they talk? Um, that is, uh, they used to tell you, uh, they get the, in Marathi, they, they talk, Hatala Sardi. They, they, it is like that, that um, Koraida is happening to the hands. <laughs> that is that is the common terminology the village people talks. And when it is there, to their hands and feet, and it is discharging an offensive, silicia is a very important remedy and it stops that. It, it controls that. It never stops that. It controls that. Sir, does moon phase aggravation occur in any condition? Yes, it, it depends. It depends upon that sensitivity of that individual. On the sensitivity of that individual, it definitely affects any organ. It is not specific only one organ. Any organ it can affect. If indicated in migraine, then which potency is better depending upon the susceptibility? It is not fixed. You have to understand the case first where the problem is, how much problem is severe, what is the susceptibility, how is the mental state, the, then you have to either go for high or start with low or whether to use LM, that you have to define. But most probably these are psychosomatic conditions, requires medium or moderate or high potency. So you can go for 200 or 1M, that is a better potency to be utilized. So that's all for today. We'll meet tomorrow again with the remaining part of the Cilicia and we'll finish Cilicia in tomorrow's session. Be there and thank you being there. Uh, Dr. Sanjay Patil, sir, from Sangli, he, he, has, he was there. Thanks you, thank you, sir. And it's my honor that you are attending my sessions. Thanks a lot.